With enough time, people will see AIM for what they truly are. Don't lose hope. sci-fi stuff. Dr. Pym, I hear you've got news about our tachyon situation? Yep, the good kind. Thanks to your efforts, I've succeeded in locating the origin of the tachyon storms. These pockets of unstable time are all emanating from one central point. Ooh, somewhere nice, I hope. Spain, Italy, <gasps> Wakanda. Not quite. We trace the disruptions to an AIM black site near a hydro dam in Siberia. Oh, mysterious. I like it. So if we shut down this facility, does that mean we'll stop all these time disruptions from happening? Tachyons are highly unstable. Let's see what we're dealing with first. All right, recon it is. You, uh, sure you want me leading this, Cap? You know more about this situation than anyone. I trust you. And if you're ever not sure what to do, just listen to your instincts. They've served you well. That means a lot. Thanks, Cap. Let's do this. Approaching the Hydro Dam. You have a plan, Kate? I just figured we'd wing it. What? I'm joking, dude. Have a little faith. Okay, we take out the comm tower first, then sneak in and inspect their safety violations. Tachyon disruptions are affecting the atmosphere. Okay, so, uh, what am I looking at? Past and future sky? More like radiation trail. Oh, good. I feel much better about going outside now. Okay, where to first? There's a communications array nearby. If we can disable it, we'll have a short window where it will be blind and we'll have to call for backup. What was that? The closer you get to the origin point, the stronger the disruptions get. They're radiating out of that place like waves. Listen, be careful down there. Tachyon exposure isn't usually lethal, but 
I've never encountered levels like this. Wait, not usually lethal? There's the communications array. Oh, let those guys go for backup and toast. I can jam the signal long enough for you to destroy the array. Just be quick. We gotta duck. Last one. Let's get to that aim facility. This is odd. Seems aim security is already on high alert. What? I thought we had the drop on them. Uh, we do. They don't know you're here. Something else must have tripped their sensors. I'm spotting several AIM patrols up ahead. They're blocking your path to the facility. Not for long. Set secure. No sign of the others, Doctor. Looks like Monica's got other problems tonight. Yeah, someone took down that thing, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't you. If you can clear them out, I'll be able to analyze the wreckage. Oh, it's my arm.
guy was downed recently. Looks like it was sent to intercept some escaped prisoners. Well, that explains the high alert. The facility is just over that ridge. All the tachyon readings originate from that location. That alert isn't going to make security any lighter. Maybe we can sneak in. You know, scale the roof and drop down on a cable or something. Oh. Shockwave. That bunker's definitely responsible. Guess we better keep moving. Yep, security looks tight. Getting inside won't be easy. Jarvis and I can handle the door from here. But you'll need to clear the area. anything unusual in their system, Jarvis? I'm detecting highly concentrated energy signatures at the very bottom of the facility. Sounds like our tachyon target. It would be at the bottom. Uh, well, guess you're back. Whoa. Things are not okay in here. Jarvis, what are we dealing with? Pockets of abnormal gravity. These vents are connected to a room on the lower floor. I won't be able to break encryption. They're using actual keys. Find me a target for access. We can take care of this.
Okay. There's an employee with the keys you need. <laughs> uh, you're up, Kate. That exosuit won't save anybody. Target spotted. Readings are getting stronger. You're on the right track. Okay, this is it. You ready? No idea. Same. Same, same, same. Here we go. Busted robots? Sorry. Once we're through, follow my lead. We don't know what we're gonna find in there. Pim, how's that signal? All clear. Audio and visual connection is strong. Fingers crossed it stays that way. <laughs> I'm detecting heavy energy fluctuations in the room up ahead. Let's move. that keep this quick I want to keep potential paradoxes to a minimum how's your progress on the weapon we're close to a breakthrough we should be able to send back a working prototype on our next connection excellent years of scientific progress in less than 30 days not for me patience it'll be worth it on that note I have good news our guest finally agreed to help. Remember what's riding on this. Easy, Doc. Deal's a deal. I'll do my part. Clint? Kate, you need to destroy that place. Now! No. Fall back. Destroy that thing when we had the chance. I don't know why the hell he'd be working with Monica, but I know Clint, okay? He has a reason, and we need to figure out what it is before we start wrecking things. Let's get to the anthill.
This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, mind filling us in? Do you know what that thing was? It's a... well, basically it's a bridge through time. I've done research on the concept before, but until now, nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it. Okay, and that's the source of these tachyon disruptions? Whatever she's sending through time is, yes. And if we don't stop them, the storms will eventually tear reality apart. We're talking about time collapsing in on itself. They'll be locking down security after our break-in. But I have an idea. We're gonna build another time bridge. Did, did you not just hear me say tearing reality apart? Messing with time is a bad idea. Exactly. So we are gonna fix it. We're gonna go get Clint out of the wrong timeline, cut Monica off from her future self. That would stop the storms, right? That's still messing with time. That's that, that might work. I'll need a few things, but you know what? Maybe. Okay, first we'll need everything you can get on Monica's time bridge plans. Blueprints, records, everything. Shield's intel points to an AIM data center in Siberia. It's our best shot. 